Good morning everyone. Once again here from the British Virgin Islands. Today we're going to be visiting a different island. We've been staying on Tortola, the main island, and we're going to Virgin Gorda. The ferry that we're going on is actually arriving right now. It's called Speedies. And we're in Roadtown, the capital here. So we went to the Speedy ticket booth back there, but it was closed. They said you can just buy it on the boat, the ticket. So I'll let you know how much it is. I think it's only like 30 minutes to get there maybe? Uh, 45 minutes. Ah, 45. There's actually a cruise ship here today. When we were exploring yesterday, there was no cruise ship, so the island was empty. I think over the next few days, there's gonna be cruises, so I'm interested to see how busy it gets. So pretty smooth ride. This is Virgin Gorda. Already like what I'm seeing. So we got this bracelet because we're doing a package with Speedies where we pay $40 per person and that includes the return on this ferry and also a taxi right now to take us to the main beach. It turns out that it's some sort of like park area here. We had to pay $3 to enter and there's a few sites to see. And we're gonna get like a snack and coffee first. We haven't had uh, breakfast yet. <laughs> Already looks cool though. This is one of the reasons that I wanted to come here because you have these like big smooth rocks. Didn't really see that on the other island. So the restaurant is pretty cool. Got some really beautiful views in the background. You can see the island that we're on over there. Got a nice little teapot too. So we got the food coming soon. So I ended up going for the pancakes with bacon. So that was $15 overall with the coffee. And what have you got? Uh, cheese omelette with some bread. And that was $14. Not cheap for breakfast, but we knew that. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do the trail now. I think there's actually like three or four different places to visit. It's a one-way trail, so you kind of gotta loop around. And besides the rocks, uh, another cool thing that this island has is the cactuses. I'll say cactuses because that automatically generates multiple comments. Cacti, cactuses. <laughs> it's cactuses. I love the butterflies. Yeah, there's so many of them. Oh wow, back there. Yeah. That might be the most butterflies I've ever seen.
I'm not sure if this is the area that's called Stony Bay. Lots of waves. There is a nice little tiny beach on this one. No chance of swimming in there though. Yeah, I'm thinking that this isn't part of the loop, the Stony Bay. I think we have to walk back to where those signs are. Uh, I, I, I think I saw that there was a trail from here. Really? Maybe this way? Yeah, I don't know. It's not clear, there's no more signs or anything. Dead end, right? No, yeah, dead end. <laughs> Never mind, we, we found the trail. So it is part of the, the loop, this part. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, the rocks are so cool. So when I was searching pictures of this place, it just showed one of the areas called the Baths, the most famous place here. And that had all these kind of rocks, but turns out that pretty much everywhere has them. Not only the Baths. Proper beach, the first proper beach, beautiful. The unfortunate news is that today is a red flag day, so we're not allowed to swim. I think there's only one area where there's some caves in the water, where we can get in the water. Yeah, so you're not allowed to swim here. Doesn't actually look too bad. I mean, it's a bit choppy, but nothing too extreme. Yeah, I changed my mind. It is actually really too choppy when you see the waves like exploding on the, the rocks on this side. So this is the Devil's Bay, one of the popular ones to come to. Once again, though, just like I said in the last video, where, where are all the people? We barely see anyone on the British Virgin Islands so far, tourists anyway. some of the, the caves here there are other caves in the water like I said but yeah these ones look pretty damn cool yeah the formations from the water there's a tiny beach here tiny beach yeah. oh yeah a real tiny beach you can see the water <laughs> there. Yeah, just about see the water from this angle it looks even better also got some more natural looking caves on this side. Ah, oh, this one has a little, little pool. That one looks pretty murky though. Not putting my feet in there. That one looked like a mosquito breeding area. Yeah, well, I don't <laughs> want to be close to that place. <laughs> I've already had dengue fever twice. Once in Brazil and once in Nepal. I don't want it again. <laughs> I don't know if they have that here. They might. Yeah, so this was the part that I saw in the, the pictures, the baths. I think this is the only time we're going to be able to go in the water then. Seems like it's really shallow. Yeah, this is one of the nicest spots yet. Beautiful colour there. Yeah, you could probably lie down in this one if you wanted to cool off. Yeah, I think, I think she said that in here you can like swim a little bit, but just be careful with the waves. But on the other beaches, you cannot do that because the motion is too rough today. Yeah, what a cool place though. Kind of different.
like orca, a whale. Yeah, I was thinking like shark, this one, right? Yeah. Oh, it looks like a, more of a whale, like the mouth. Yeah. And the eye. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. And it, it continues on. Now oh, they have a proper stairs here. Got to crouch at this part. <laughs> oh no, my glasses. No. <laughs> Almost lost the glasses. Yeah, so I think this eventually leads to another beach somewhere. <laughs> into the baths. All good? Yeah. They're pretty steep the stairs. Wow, this is the coolest part though. <laughs> I think this is the, the proper bath. Yeah, it's like a little adventure. It's really big by the way. I thought it was just a small area, but it's big. Yeah, this is definitely not the place for people with mobility issues because, as you can see, the path going between the rocks is really crazy. <laughs> wow. This is the coolest part. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Check that out. There's like a little hole there in that rock. Yeah, maybe I'll lie down at this part, try and cool off since we can't swim. You gonna lie down too? made it out of the bass. I think we were like 45 minutes in there. And now we've got a beautiful beach here. I remember when I saw this in the pictures, it reminded me of the Seychelles, which I've never been to. I've see, just seen uh, pictures of it with these rocks. I'm actually surprised that they only charge $3 with the price of everything else in the Virgin Islands. Guess they don't charge much for the, the parks. Now we're gonna drink our $10 bottle of water that we bought here. <laughs> yeah, we didn't ask what the price was for the big bottle. Yeah. They gave us some fancy one, Tuscany. I don't need fancy water, they can just give me any water. Probably if we bought the smaller ones, I think it was like the plastic bottles, wouldn't have been $10. Reminded me of a time that I went to uh, Thailand and I kind of went in some fancy restaurant to ask for water. Then they gave me one that was $28. <laughs> But that time I realized it, so yeah, I told him to take it back. Man, what a beautiful island though. Yeah, uh, like this is the second British Virgin Island that we are exploring. Uh, and Tortola was beautiful. This one, what we've seen so far, it's really, really nice. And in the next video or the video after that one, we're gonna explore another one. And they say they have the best beach in the British Virgin Islands. So I don't know how we can get better than this, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the level is already so high the beaches that we've seen so far.
I think that this is probably the most laid back set of islands that we've been to in the Caribbean so far. Yeah, I think before this we used to say Curaçao because it's a very uh, laid back place and relaxing, but here it's even more than Curaçao. And that's also because there are no big cruise ships today. Uh, we're gonna see the next few days because we know that they're gonna be like uh, big ones coming. Yeah, so when we explored in the last video, there wasn't even a single cruise ship. So the beaches that we were going to, the most popular ones, were completely dead. We went to the most famous one on Tortola and it had like 10 people. I think we only saw about 10 people there. And that's obviously just people staying on the island like us, which I don't think is that many people. And then today, as I mentioned earlier, it was just 700 people. There were a few people here from that cruise, but I think it leaves at 3 p.m. So they had to get like the 11.30 ferry back. So I think they only had like two hours to explore here. And I think that's why many people from that cruise didn't bother coming to the island because it's not that much time. We're going to be leaving on the 3.30 ferry. So we're going to have quite a while here. We're going to have lunch here too. But I think on the 11th, there's like three mega cruise ships. Yeah, uh, we can actually see online. You can just search on Google, uh, like Tortola, Port, Cruises, and they usually give you the, the schedules. And we can see that on the 11th, there will be one with 6,000 people and another one with 3,000 people and another one with, I don't know, 600 or something. So <laughs> we're gonna see how it, how it is and how it changes. Yeah, that's the day that we're planning to go to that island that apparently has the most beautiful beach in the British Virgin Islands. So it's gonna be fun to see what the difference is. So when I was reading on Google reviews about this place, everyone was saying, oh, it's beautiful, but it's, it's jam-packed. But that must be people that were coming on the cruises with other people, because yeah, we're just not having that experience whatsoever. Really wasn't expecting this. So we ended up going to the beach bar and restaurant that they have here. They only have one and then they have like a few souvenir stores and a bathroom. And we just got some beach snacks. So Carol went for the veggie burger. I got two hot dogs. Also got the fries, got a red stripe and a Coca-Cola. And all that was $34 overall. We got the nice natural table here. So I think when we had that lunch in Tortola yesterday, that was like $65, so a lot more. But that was because I had like uh, proper food, not, not like a hot dog. heading out of here now we were just like chilling the whole time beneath that tree probably spent about three hours just lying down not doing much especially couldn't because you couldn't swim but it was a good rest day because we've been doing quite a lot recently with the delightful travelers in the Dominican Republic and yesterday we we were going around a lot so it's quite nice just to go to an area and relax even though we had a bit of an uh, adventure in the, the cave part so even walking back, it's just non-stop these rocks.
we're back on the island of Tortola now. In case you're wondering why we didn't take our car over to the island, which is an option by the way, it's because it's over a hundred dollars for the return and obviously we just paid forty dollars each for the return and the ride to that bath area so wasn't really worth it for us maybe if you have uh, more people in the car it will end up being worth it but yeah it was just no real reason for us to do it or maybe if you're just spending more days on the island not doing a return trip on the same day so that's up to you. And we'll see what we're gonna do in the next video. Tomorrow's supposed to be really bad weather. The forecast is just showing like storms the entire day, but we'll see. It's not always correct. If it's okay, maybe we'll do another video on this island. And then the day after that, we're planning to do another boat trip to that other island that's supposed to have the most beautiful beach. So something good's gonna be coming up. If you like this video, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and we'll see you in the next one.